All right, we're going to get ready to transfer here for a walking tour. Bear with us here as we take our camera off of the tripod. I promise to get a camera with anti shake if we do this again. double check and see that we got audio we do so I am going to try to hold this as steady as I can it's in my pocket so we got our Wi-Fi hotspot and we are going to head over to the nest why don't we go this way So here we are walking across the whole Hauser's lawn, and right. we're facing more or less north, northeast to east. Yep, so where we left off uh, was straight ahead over where the cars are parked there, uh, looking ahead, and we are traveling to the east right now. It's a little breezy, so um, my apologies if we have some static there from the breeze. My webcam has a mask over it. So that was my attempt to try to protect it from wind noise. So we are crossing here. Sewer Spring Road. And we're gonna head north. So if we stop right here and take a look, we've got the bridge, trout, Run Creek goes below that, and one is over in this direction. There's the cottonwood that a lot of uh, eagles land and eat trout. Mom, DM2, and the young. And uh, you've seen probably uh, flights over into the nest at N2. Let's walk across the bridge here and take a look at the creek. Water is down quite a bit uh, since some of the rains that we've had. You can see some of the sandbars now are uncovered and the nest is right in that direction. It's kind of hidden right now. If we look over to the west, we can see where the horses typically are. And we're looking in the direction of N1. And go a little bit further north. I just, I just saw an eagle. Just saw an eagle fly across to the south. So they probably were in their favorite spot down by the creek. I suppose good place to uh, stay, stay cool. To beat the heat. Yep. And we're looking south here across. Amy says hi. And we're on the bike trail, so we have to wander around like we know what we're doing, and we don't get hit. That is one thing to be careful of. With your head in the air watching eagles, right? <laughs> you do have to sometimes look at the ground. I think a lot of the bikers that go by here, they uh, they almost uh, run in or hit uh, eagle watchers that have their head in the air. So we'll be careful. So there's another shot of the uh, cottonwoods that the eagles like to perch in and unzip their trout and eat dinner. Looking north here now. 
and we're coming up along uh, the trail. We have a recommendation here. Please do not disturb the eagles or do not trespass. We've got a lot of blackbirds flying around here. And lately we've seen them trying to uh, hitchhike rides on the backs of the eagles. I can tell you that from using my binoculars. The corn was definitely higher than knee high on the 4th of July. And it's probably about eight to eight, nine feet tall right now. So this is a source of materials that the eagles use for nest building. We'll see the, the uh, corn stalks. We'll see the, uh, the leaves up from the, from the corn stalk and other things brought up for nesting material. Coming down along the trail here now, and not too far here, we will be right in line with where the nest is. I'm sure you've definitely seen plenty of pictures that are much better resolution than this, and I just try to point it in the direction of the nest. So we didn't go too far down uh, the bike trail here, and we can see the nest you can see some of the support boards from, this is really a, our first nest building experiment for eagles. Yes, it is. Got to keep reminding ourselves of that, of the successful building of the eagle nest. And this uh, many years after that, I guess five years yeah. after that. So five successful years after uh, starting with a man-made nest and we're doing in good shape with the core north also. So anyway, um, here we are, and we're saying hi from the trail. There's the nest. We'll take a walk back and just uh, give you a little bit of uh, audio narrative here as we go by. I am looking back to make sure that we're not hogging the trail for the bikers. So what we probably will do here uh, either probably tomorrow morning is get the uh, tracking transmitter radio transmitter out and we'll just do a little demo it's not on the schedule maybe we can do that along with the uh, the uh, opening welcome in the morning tomorrow morning horse uh, horses will be over here I think they're staying cool up in their stable And we're coming back to the hatchery. Wind is picking up, so I'm sure you're hearing probably some static. Apologies for that. This year has not been near as bad for flooding. Um, we'll talk about this a little bit more tomorrow during my talk, but uh, um, we're very lucky this year to have not near as much flooding, not near as many black flies, and it looks like it was a pretty normal year for the quantity or density of black flies. They're not gone, but uh, they were not near as bad as they were last year. Nice to see the eaglet floods normally this year. Definitely. We needed that, right? We did. And we did have a little bit of a scare with D35, if I remember correctly, because she fledged and then got scared off the tree by mom right before a Sunday night storm. Remember that? It right. rained and rained. Yep. yep, I remember that. So it's good to see them all doing so well now. So if you're at the hatchery, this is the main corner here. Um, again, just like bikers, you've got to be careful with uh, cars at the intersection. Not have your head in the air and be uh, too distracted by the eagles. Eagles have been spending quite a bit of time up on the roof of the whole house. I can see uh, eagle slices up on the uh, roof from their time up there. We 
always have people testing out the performance of their vehicles <laughs> at the intersection. That's a part of the overall Decora fish the hatchery experience. experience. <laughs> You're getting the total experience here. So we'll talk just a little bit since we didn't get too much info about the uh, original nest where the Eagle Cam started and won. There are actually two or three uh, big cottonwood trees that we can see here. And the eaglets have been spending some time around the Y branch this year. Um, not as much as uh, some other years, but I think that they're going to uh, probably do a little bit more of that as time goes on here. Uh, that's pretty much it for now. So we're going to go ahead and transfer over to the live stream. So get her down there. Thanks so much. Uh, we'll be back at one o'clock and we're probably getting close to that. So uh, stay tuned.